Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we will continue our discussion on direct query. Now, in case of direct query, you have a exclusive function combine values. What does this combine value does? So basically combine values, you can actually combine one or more than one column and you can use that in join. And this is exclusively for direct query. Now, as we have already discussed in few of our videos that you can actually create some column and we have tested out, you can concatenate and do that. But combine value in that clause, the way it came to create clause is something like this. So when you concatenate column one and column two and column one and column two in second table also, and then you join. So this kind of join is created. And this is the join which you need basically uh, when you are using the SQL and it will be able to use the indexes. So let's see how to do this. So basically, whenever you have more than one join, typically in Power BI, you go and concatenate those columns and uh, use the join. But here in this case, uh, we are not going to join. We are going to use the combine values function. So uh, we are going to create a column in that case. And we have this customer where we have this uh, city ID and customer ID also in sales we have. And we try to create a new column here, which we are going to call a combined key. And we'll try to replace this and use that one. So we we'll say combine keys, combine values. And then we say delimiter, which is comma. And then we are going to say city ID comma customer id city id customer id that's what we have taken now we have created a key here and now we are going to go ahead and keep create a key in the sales table also so sales table again go ahead create a new column we are going to call that as again a key and combine values and then in double quotes then we take city id comma we are going to take customer id now we need to have the same sequence we just need to make sure that let's go back and check what we have taken there so uh, we have this key column this is city and city id custom this is not city id we have to make it let's see is it city id yes we have city id here so city id customer id and we have a key column where again we have key which is city id customer id now we can go ahead and you know uh, do here and we already have a join which is correct basically the customer id join but what we are going to do is we are going to delete this join and we are going to use this key join basically so and again it should be one to many key and key and we will call it one to many okay so created a one to many join and then we can actually go here and create a new visual and there we can actually go ahead and let, let's take uh, from here the name and we can take anything like cross sales and then we just start working so basically in this manner whenever you have more than one join you should go ahead and use combine values there that's the way you should be doing in case of direct query don't just simply concatenate because column is allowed uh, thanks for watching this video